welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review these awesome Detour protein bars that I purchased from Puritan's Pride. Make sure you check out the website. Because they have one of the lowest prices available online. So I paid $12.49 for these. This box comes with nine uh, smaller size bars. These aren't the full size ones. So that comes to about $1. 39 each. So let me tell you a little bit about the history of the D2 bars. So back in 2003, I weighed a total of 135 pounds when I first started working out. So I was eating one of the full size caramel peanut bars, one a day, and I was gaining about one pound per week. So I was very happy about that. So it holds a very special place in my heart, this brand. That's why I'm here to review these new, or relatively new, Detour Chocolate Chip Caramel. These are the smaller size bars. And I definitely went with the lower sugar because I don't need all that sugar to keep me awake. So I actually bought two boxes of these. And I kept one with me at work. What I plan on doing is eating one around two hours after lunch. And I have my lunch about 12 o'clock. Trying to add some more protein. Or maybe I'll boil some eggs too. Maybe eat a banana in addition to that. So these are bars are 15 grams of protein. Chocolate chip caramel flavor. First time trying it. Whey protein bars. Low sugar. 50% less sugar than your regular D2 bars. You can already tell it's pretty exciting by the picture right there. Pretty basic. The expiration date January 2016. So let me tell you a little bit about protein bars and why I went with these as opposed to you know what you see in the background because these it's kind of a hassle because you have to clean the blender and you have to find a container and it's just a mess. So I've tried all three of these. I mean it works fine, but the reason why I went with protein bars is just a lot more convenient. And the protein shakes. So there is what the box is all about. And let's take a look at the ingredients, which I would definitely list in the description section. And of course, with the nutrition info, let's bust one of these open and see what it looks like and how it tastes. First off, the bat, I like the color. So it's one of these smaller size. I believe a full size is about twice as much and uh, definitely more expensive. Pretty basic. If you never had a Detour bar, you better go get some because these are available in GNC, I believe. There you go. Here's what one bar looks like. Take it out like this. Very nice size. The reason why I didn't went with a full size is because sometimes, you know, um, there's only so much protein you can take per hour. So 30 grams of protein might be a little bit too much depending on body type. And of course, you know, the Asian body type is, you know, sometimes we can't handle that much alcohol and proteins and also, you know, uh, lactose stuff. So let's take a look at it. Nice chocolate flavor. It is pretty nice indeed. There you see the chocolate chips and there is the peanut, the caramel infused, which in the um, whey protein mixture. Nice flavor, surprisingly not overly sweet because it's a low sugar blend. But I'm kind of a little bit disappointed because it's not as good as the caramel peanut, which is my favorite. And I will probably, after I'm done with both of these boxes, I'll probably order the, the smaller size low sugar chuck caramel peanut because those are excellent. I mean, those are like, I would probably give those a probably like in the 90s because it tastes just like a candy bar, kind of like Snickers, except it has more protein and it's a real protein bar. But this isn't bad. I mean, I definitely taste the chocolate chip in there, slight hint of caramel infused with that whey protein. I mean, it definitely tastes better than your typical Cliff bars and all that other. So many brands, it just tastes so gross. Detour bars, you can't go wrong with these. Because if you want to develop muscles like these, you got to find a way, you know. Either protein bars or protein shakes. Make sure you guys get hooked up. 
And as always, exercise regularly, add a couple more meals. I'm on my way of bulking back up to about 170, 172. I'm about 167 right now. So I'm trying to add five more pounds, you know, summertime, trying to get a little bit more swole. So on a scale of 100%, I will give these a 84%. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, eat hard, work out harder, baby.